amazing, beautiful people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Evie Shona. And I'm back, back again with another video. I'm so sorry I have not been posting lately. But I promise you that today we are going to have an amazing content. First of all, check out the outfit of the day. Yay! <laughs> outfit of the day. <laughs> Comments down below. And today with me, I have an amazing person who has done innovation. We are actually in kind of ghetto, but it's it's an it's an it's a it's not really a ghetto, but it's a it's a good place. So we are going to do an innovation story. He, so let him introduce himself. Tell us your name. My name is Peter Morio. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, what I do, mm -hmm. I made a uh, radio station uh -huh. uh, via rock material. Mm -hmm. That's why, okay, when I go around uh, village, the ghettos okay, and the village, I have a customer through that radio. Uh -huh. yep, yep. Oh, you get a customer through this radio? Uh, Okay, let's let him. Uh, this is the radio that he is showing us. I think I'm going to get a better view. Yeah, so this is his radio station. Yes. He created it by local using material. local materials and and waste products. Yeah. It even it even has a solar, but we'll give you a tour of this uh, radio and. And the microphone. And even a microphone, yeah. I'm using the same same Sora. Uh -huh. And that, uh, that is this one, like a security, security system. Oh, that's a security system? Security system, yes. Okay, you're going to show us. Yeah. I think you're going to record us. This is mic. And this is a uh, frame uh, uh, speakers. Uh -huh. Those two two speakers, mm -hmm. and this is a solar solar system mm -hmm. for the energy. Yep, yep. And what is this? This is a security system. Uh huh. Uh, all security light. Uh -huh. In case of uh, when the darkness. darkness. Yes, darknesses. Oh. Yep, yep. So what is your radio station name? It is Ime FM. This is Ime FM. Yeah. Does it work? It is working. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So sh give us a little bit of test. Test the your radio and your radio station. You can start. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, wow. So, if someone can tune in, tune in their phone, yes. can they find this email FM? Very much, okay. For sure. Yeah. Who, who can tune in? Okay, my friend here. Let, let, let us find someone who can tune in to IME FM. It is, it is which, it is which uh, frequency. frequency, yeah. Frequency, I'm connecting, oh, this is frequency, 108.0 FM. 108.0. But okay. I'm not registered. Oh, it's not registered? Okay, we're just doing innovation, so don't worry. He has in his own radio station, it is 108. 0 .0 FM. Yeah. yeah, tune into the radio station. Let's see if it's working. Hello. <laughs> Guys, I'm in a radio station, 108.0. It is called Ime FM. Ime FM. And he is the one who has come up with all this. He has made this radio, he has made the radio station, and oh my god, I'm so so amazed. So tell us a little bit about your upbringing, Yani. Uh, Ulizali wapi? How did you grow up? Yeah. Okay. Kuzari wakongo. Mimi ni mzari wa Wanakuru County. Uh -huh. Na nimeza kuanzisha hii radio yangu. The same same area. But for now, 
niko katika kijiji ambacho kinaitwa Kayore Junction. Okay, so he, okay, I don't know, maybe you can speak in English where you can, where you can't just speak in Swahili. So he was born in Nakuru County and that is also where he started to make his own radio station. So how did you get this idea? Uh, ama radio. Yeah, how do you put out the idea of the radio? Okay, because I'm in the front of radio. Oh, yeah. you are a, what is inventor, it called? Inventor, radio inventor. Not a radio inventor, you make uh, radios uh, when repair, they, repair. Oh, you repair radios. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he repairs radios and that is what, how he started his own radio station and made his own radio. Yeah. Yeah, wow, nice. Thank you. So, how has this impacted your life? Yani, tangu wanza kutengeneza hii radio, maisha yako wamebadilika kivipi? Okay, imebadilika because naweza ikuwa kazi na customer somewhere, anywhere. So, nina mchekia radio yake, harapu sasa nataka riziki yangu kutumia hii kikipa. Oh. Uh, Kinaweza tangaza kwa radio, mm -hmm. niseme mwenye kuna radio imeharibika, uh, either hata kama ni simu na mtengenezea. Hapo ndipo napataka mkate yangu ya simu. Wow, he say that, okay, I think they speak in vernacular, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. In Kikuyu, yeah. so his radio station is in Kikuyu, so how, how this work, how creating radio has impacted his life is that every time he he's on his radio station, he can advertise the way he makes radios and other things and then he can get his job. And do you have people who listen to you? Yes, I have a new, uh, okay, uh, every day I have a new visitors when we go around the village. But for now, I have a, almost that, uh, that village, what I live, that uh, village in Kayore, mm -hmm. what we, the village what we call uh, what do you call Spring Valley? Spring Valley. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Spring Valley, they listen to you. Yes. Wow, yeah. amazing. So, where would you want to see yourself in five years? Okay, if Naza Pata Samaria Mwema, I'm a sponsor. sponsor yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe we can, can create a commercial radio center, but for now, is a community radio, but so, you know you don't have a license, mm -hmm. so it's not uh, established by Communication Authority of Kenya. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, yeah, so that's nice actually. Uh, do you have a fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can call one of your fans, he can tell us how, Lenny, what kind of topics do you speak in your radio station? No, Gelelenda topic. About Mona Inchi, so. <laughs> uh -huh. About economy. Economic. Economy. When you come and get a comasoco, when you chew me in a delay, charges in a water on a pit, or got you on a hassle, like that, in a corner, and Jaya Mungu. And Jaya Mungu. Oh, so actually, what he does through his radio station. He speaks more of the economy and he also impacts people to know more about God, which is a really nice thing, by the way. Yeah, so I'm really impressed. So what would you, what would you like to tell someone out there? Yeah, who's watching you today? What I uh, tell uh, um, our friends, my fans, never give up. If life is, is hard, Unaweza tu jitafutia kitu ambao ita kurudisha no naona hiyo moyo sababu changamoto ni mingi unaweza kuwa uko tu kama mimi kwenye tu niko but una maybe hela za kuanzisha business ama kazi so unaanza anzisha anything ukiomba tu Mungu na itakuja kwa kuinuka yeah so vile naweza ambia watu eh, ni vizuri tuna trust God Trust God na wezi, auta kosa anything. Wow, yeah. So he's telling the young people not to give up, to start where they are, and as they pray to God, 
God is going to lift them up. So if you are a young youth out in crimes or or things that don't please God, just try and do something, and I know that everything is going to work out. Yeah. So you can call one of your fans here. He can come and attest to if they listen to your radio. Okay, welcome. <laughs> uh, one of my friends. Yes. Welcome in FM studio. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And interview. Yeah. Okay. So you listen to his radio. I always listen to his radio. Uh -huh. But most of the time, uh, there is a day I called him. He, he came to visit us here, and he told us he has that talent of to motivating Wanaichi, and I thought that Wanaichi might, might also like his radio station. Wow. Yes. Wow. And today they had called. Today they had called you so that you can market their business. Yeah. Wow. You see, even like people call him so that uh, they can advertise their business in Ime FM. Ime. Wow, nice. So you listen to him every day. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> what has his uh, What has his What topics have empowered you in the radio station? Which topics have empowered you? He has empowered us through the word of God. Uh -huh. Sometimes he, he just uh, giving us to, to encourage men to listen to the word of God. Uh -huh. Plus all the business that he has been coming here. So advertisements like my business, mm -hmm. plus the church service. Mm -hmm. He told us one day when you want, when you want to open your radio, make sure you listen. My, my station. So there is a day I witnessed and I called him he told me that's what he encouraged us, me and with my family. Wow, yes. that's really nice. And you are also going to pay him to advertise your business. Wow. You see youths out there, this is a youth. Actually, where did you reach your education? Um, from two, yeah. So he's a high school dropout actually. And he's making his own living by, he made his own radio using waste materials and he makes money. Okay. Yeah. A lot or just, most of the materials are? And wood and a combination of computers, uh, those local material like motherboard of radios uh -huh. and so on. It also has a solar system. This is a yeah, yeah, 5.5 volts and the other one was 5.5 volts. Wow, this is nice. And then there is also a space here where you can donate. Yes, can you show a, them? Uh, some, some, it's a bank. It's a bank, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Probably I'll donate something small here. Yeah. coins to support the talent. Yeah. Maybe 20 shillings. Call me. Yeah, probably. How we donate to him here in Kayole. So someone come and donate to him. Yeah. So that's where you donate. Okay. Yeah. Another shilling. Another, yeah, somebody else. Thank you so much for donating. Okay. Yeah. So he has... <laughs> So he has made his own bank here, such that when, when he goes to people, he, encourage the, he encourages them, he, someone can donate there to him. So I don't know what you have uh, for him. If you have any comments, any uh, anything that you want to talk to me, please comment down in the comment section. And yeah, what else do you have to to tell the people and please please guys give this video a like i will really really appreciate it what do you have to tell the people uh uh but watu Unaweza weka save kidogo ngine unakula juu ya kesho maybe unaweza fungua radio kubwa but vile naweza ambia wananchi 
e, ni mtu ambao anatumia talanta yake e, anaweza kuwa hiyo kwa jamii hasa vijana yeah. so ukiwa na talanta yako uwezi lala nja true so sasa kama mimi hapa nimejitengenezea homba na pia kwa iko na ya mpesa hapa so he's telling the young youths if you have a talent don't die with it make sure to use your talent because he's also using his talent and he's making money with it and we are so proud of you we are really really proud of you yeah wewe si wale wa kulala na kusema there are no jobs in uh, i have Uh, no, I'm just saying how much does it cost to start a radio station in general? Yaani mtu tumia how much to a radio station? Almost 500 and Yeah. So my people, you know, uh, to start up your own radio station like ile the lowest amount that you can make is 500,000. But this guy, he used like west local materials from from areas um, and even I have from camping yeah, areas uh, yeah environment mm -hmm. you can get those transistors motherboard of computers radio capacitors and their resistors all those mm -hmm. you can uh, collect together and how and uh, uh, yes, one time. yeah wow mm -hmm. yeah so he has been using uh, he has been recycling uh radio materials from the electronic products from the dump sites and other areas this is really amazing and it's really really inspiring yeah so you don't have to sit at home and say that there is there are no jobs make sure to be inspired by such a thing he he started his own radio station someone has called him and people call him so that they can advertise their jobs for him he gets paid he also has somewhere where people donate do people donate to you yeah so i'm going to show you my people how he goes around interviewing people so let's go together you can show me how you interview people Okay, 
So these are some of his fans and they really really enjoy it. What would you like to tell Peter because of inventing this? Okay, so this is also this is also his bar and he sells goat head. You can show them this goat head that he sells. Show them. Yeah. So I probably will, I'm going to test this goat head. Yeah. Hey, that's expensive. See, 150. This is got head. So, after the interview, I found these amazing samosas here. You can show them. And I want to test how much is it? 10 bucks. Yeah, so give me like one or two. So these are samosas. Yeah, uh, let me show them how. So he's deep frying here. Yeah. Yeah, and where is the other one? Okay. Yeah, so he's taking two for me. So this is kachumbari. It's a mixture of onions, tomatoes, and pilipili, pepper. And that's what he's going to put inside there. Yeah, so it's kind of hot. Oh my god. I don't know if I can... It's so hot. I can't see it right now. So... Thank you so much for watching this video up to this moment. Subscribe, comment and share. Mwah! I love you my people. So after the interview, I was really hungry and I decided to do a street food just around the place that we were doing the interview and this is basically chapati choma so chapati choma in when you come to Kenya make sure to try chapati choma it is basically chapati and beans that have been cooked with a lot of soup so you have to pay just an extra 10 shillings and they add this that soup on top of the chapati it gives me sweet memories because when i was a teenager 
and we used to suffer. This is the food that I used to eat with my brothers and it made me grow up. So make sure to watch this video up to the end. Thank you for watching up to this moment. Please give this video a like, share, subscribe and comment something sweet. I will really, really appreciate it. Mwah. my ads and I really, really love you so much my people Mwah.